This video is not for kids. Go do your homework. Why body kissed the hand? Why body kissed the hand? Oh. All right, I'm back again, and as promised, I have my white body Kirsten lot that I purchased on eBay. I guess it's been a couple weeks now. I'm running a little bit behind, but I'm going to show you my white body Kirsten that I just got, as well as some of the other things that came with her. I bought this huge lot again. It was several hundred dollars, and there was like one or two things in here that I actually wanted to keep, <laughs> not including the doll. Um, but anyway, I thought it'd be fun to show you everything that I got because I got some really interesting things, um, even though I have most of it already. Uh, it's always fun to kind of walk through it and talk about it. So uh, without much song and dance, let's go ahead and get to it. Fair warning, this is going to be a little bit chaotic because I did absolutely zero planning for this video. So um, buckle up. I think this is going to be a bumpy one. Actually, before I get started, this was sitting on the pile, but I thought I'd show it off anyway. I got a first edition nightgown for Addie that's in pretty good shape. Uh, I'm going to have to give it a quick steam to kind of take some of the wrinkles out, but uh, it's a 1993 tag and that ticks off one more thing on my list for Addie. Yeah, that little girl right there. All right, and on to the main event. One of the first things I, cracky voice. All right, and on to the main event. Uh, one of the first things I got was something that I've had like a million times before, but they're always really fun um, and exciting because it's a Kirsten item that I think is one of the most iconic Kirsten items in her entire collection. Um, and that is a St. Lucia wreath. Um, and it's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, it looks like there's some peeling coming off um, of the berries, but all in all, it still has the, let's see, does this say? Yeah, it says made in Taiwan, so uh, super early. Again, this is probably, I'm gonna venture to say, somewhere around 1988, um, but it's got all the candles, they're wooden. Um, yeah, and even has the box, even though it's in like pretty wretched shape and doesn't have the um, paper belt that goes with it. Um, it it's like kind of a nice thing to store it in because this thing can get kind of banged up if you don't um, store it nicely when it's the off season. But uh, yeah, hopefully that'll make someone happy because I already have a first edition one that I've shown off on the channel already and there ain't no beating that. But anyway, yeah, a really nice condition early St. Lucia crown. Should I put it on my head? <laughs> no way this is getting anywhere near my head. Random coat hanger. I'm sure you're all so excited to see this. Okay, this is the most annoying thing that came with this lot. I absolutely hate it when I have to purchase like an entire bed that is broken. Like, look at this. There is nothing more like of a pain in the butt to try and sell than a broken like American Girl doll bed. I feel like nobody ever wants these and I'm probably basically gonna just have to sell it for like the price of shipping and just hope that somebody wants this for like, I don't know, $30. But, um, Actually, this isn't even an old one. I think there was a couple things in this lot that aren't um, actually like white body um, or like white body era for Kirsten. And this is one of them because this uh, bedding actually has 1995 tags. So I'm gonna reach over here. Yeah, it's got the pill and everything. And all in all, it's like not in terrible shape, but um, yeah, it just kind of sucks that the leg on that's broken because I don't think many people are gonna want this. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to ditch this for basically nothing or maybe somebody can use it for the parts or maybe I'll just sell the bedding. I don't know, but this is definitely not staying. One of the nice things about this lot is actually most of the stuff came with um, the original packaging, like these bags. Uh, they started doing these, I think in maybe 1988 um, with these little garment bags. They're basically just poly bags. Um, but yeah, most of the outfits in here have these. And um, the first outfit I'm gonna show you is actually one of the things I'm gonna keep from this lot. Again, I'm always dropping stuff on the ground. Um, but anyway, this is Kirsten's Durndal outfit, which I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right. But if I'm not, I'm sure one of you will let me know in the comments. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is, uh, I think maybe a first edition. I'm gonna check the tag really quick cause I haven't looked at this since I bought it. But um, yeah, this one was made in West Germany, and I think that makes it a first edition. Um, it's got a 1989 copyright tag on it. And I th Were these made in 1989 or 1990? I can't remember. I think these might be like an 88 or 89. But um, anyway, it's in really great shape, and I plan on keeping this one. It even has the original uh, bandana, or would you call this a bandana? I think it goes around her head. Hang on, I actually have the promo for it. Yeah, this actually goes around the top of her head. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be keeping this. This is one of the main things I wanted in this lot because um, it was either a very early or first edition of this outfit. Um, and it's the first one I've ever gotten. So yeah, she'll probably be wearing this before long. Oh yeah, and before I forget, one of the things that was in here that I've actually already been displaying because I've wanted it was a 19... 
I'm going to guess this, this is roughly 1988. Um, there was a rare version of this in 1988 that I really want, but um, this is sort of like the uh, standard edition of her ragdoll. Um, so this is actually the third one I've had. Um, the other two I have are rarer than this one, but um, even still, uh, I like kind of having the different versions of the little dolls and stuff. So uh, I'll probably keep this one. I told you this was going to be chaotic um, and there's a lot of stuff in this like random bag here so just quickly I'll try and go through it um, so this isn't terribly boring but um, it has the doll's original bloomers with the elastic stretch and these are yellowed so again I probably will just sell this or probably give it away actually um, when I go to sell the doll because spoiler alert I'm not keeping the doll. Um, anyway what else is in here? A bunch of like hair ribbons I'm not even going to go through all of them but you know we've got her I think this is from her work dress, uh, her school ribbons, her meat ribbons, more school ribbons, meat ribbon, meat shoe. Oh, a two-tone work boot. Actually, uh, I'm going to be keeping these as well. Um, I think they might be first edition because you can kind of see where the Made in Taiwan uh, tag or sticker has been taken off. Um, and these are in good shape, so I probably will be keeping these. Another meat shoe. Second edition uh, winter ribbon. Another work ribbon. Another winter ribbon. Another meat shoe. Another work ribbon. Dang, she's been busy working her white little butt off. Socks. I think these are winter socks. I can't remember. Um, these actually might have come with her underwear set. Either way, probably going to keep them. Another work boot. Another meat shoe. What is going on here? I feel like this is Groundhog Day. Meat sock. Birthday socks. Another meat sock. Meat sock sounds so gross. But you know what sounds even grosser? Two meat socks. All right, that's all the stuff in the little bag. You made it. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a handmade scarf, potentially. It doesn't look like the correct construction for Pleasant Company or American Girl, um, but it's kind of cute. Somebody might want it, so I might put it on one of the Facebook groups because a lot of people collect uh, just sort of seam... They call them seamstress made, but um, they're just basically homemade um, outfits, and this would look really cute with one of Kirsten's homemade outfits, so maybe somebody will want it. Also, you'll have to forgive me, I'm trying to look into the lens, but I actually got this new rig that I set up where I actually have a mirror showing me my monitor, so I'm kind of like looking off in the distance. Um, sorry about it. I'm still trying to get my setup uh, good so that the lighting is good, the filming is good, the quality is good, but you know, I'm still new at this and we're going on this journey together, so hopefully it looks okay for you and I hope you're still having fun. And on that note, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and we're getting really close. Well, maybe not super close, but in my mind, I feel like it's going to happen any day now, even though I'm still in the 500s. But anyway, if you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you'd go ahead and subscribe. All right, back to the show. Uh, I, another thing I got in here was her school outfit. And again, it's a little bit ratty, but it does have the original poly bag that this shipped in in the 80s, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and a very early version of her school dress. And most of you know, um, well, I would say if you're like a fairly serious Pleasant Company collector, you would know that this is the original pattern that came on her dress. Um, it had a division sign, and then ultimately they changed it to more of like a floral kind of pattern. Um, I actually have never gotten the later one. Uh, this is the only one I've ever seen, but um, usually uh, up until I guess the early 90s they were doing these with the division sign print. So this is like the first version of it, um, but it's not the first edition. Um, I'm probably not going to dig out my first edition because it's so similar to this, but one of the main differences in the first edition is actually there's a dark blue stitching on this um, uh, the hem down here. I forget exactly what it's called, but um, you'll see either one or two um, rows of dark blue stitching. But anyway, yeah, the child that got this probably got this a little bit later um, than the doll, so that's why it's um, a little bit later of a version. It's not um, a true first edition. Nothing super exciting about this, but this is her meat outfit, um, which again, if you're watching this, you probably know that, that this is the outfit that the doll would have originally been shipped in. Um, and I was just checking really quickly. This doesn't have the tag in it, um, but that's usually the sign that this is a first edition dress, 
our first edition dress um, because the original dresses actually had tags that were basically made out of paper and they were really delicate and fragile and um, it was very easy for them to basically be ripped out of the stitching. So a lot of times if you see one of these and it doesn't have a tag in it, it's very likely it was the first edition. And the final outfit I got for her was her work dress. And this is one of my favorites for Kirsten, actually. I think this color looks really great on her. Um, I actually already have one. And I think, yeah, one of my 1986 Kirstens is actually wearing one right now. And that one's a first edition. And this one is also a first edition because it has a copyright year of 1990 on the tag. So this is a first edition and it had the ribbons in it, as we saw earlier. So uh, this is very cool. Um, I'll probably sell this and make someone super happy. And finally, the thing you've all been waiting for, the white body Kirsten. You can see here, she's got a super cute face and she's very clearly been played with. She's got like this alfalfa sprout on the top of her head, which I don't even know how you do this, but I have seen the strangest things coming out of these little, um, like they the collectors call these top knots. It's basically like a little hole in the top of her wig where all of the top wefts, or they're not technically wefts, but all of the hair that kind of goes like down her bangs and um, like the top parts of it um, to kind of cover the sewing from the wig wefts. So yeah, some of them have like really stupid looking bangs and this is one of them. So I'm definitely gonna have to try and fix this, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. I've gotten pretty experienced working with doll hair at this point. So, but yeah, I should be able to get her a pretty crispy new, um, just using a steamer. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do that in a separate video because I feel like today has been sort of a little bit on the chaotic side. So I'm not gonna try and like shoehorn in a like hair tutorial into this, but uh, keep an eye out for it later because I'll definitely do one. But anyway, the doll is super cute. I'm gonna guess based on her neck stamp and let's look at her wig cap here. Yeah, this doll's at least a 1988. There's a chance she could be 1989, but um, looking at her, I'd say there's a great shot that she's either 88 or 89, which is still a super early um, version of Kirsten. And she kind of has that 80s look. So again, I probably won't be keeping her because I'm trying to not have as many of the same doll over and over again. Um, because I have a problem where I get one thinking, oh, I'll just hold on to it for a while and then sell it. And then all of a sudden, you know, she's been here for six months. So um, I'm gonna be good and sell this one. And again, because I already have like five Kirsten dolls on display, um, that's enough for this collection. I'm really trying to make some space for some new lines that I wanna collect. So um, there's no room for this little girl, but she is super cute. Um, but yeah, I am going to probably fix her silver eye. I might just take a quick plan and see if anybody wants to buy her for what I paid for. Her. Um, but if not, I might go ahead and like take her eyes out and fix her silver eye, get her hair fixed up. Um, she'll look really great when I'm done with her. Um, but yeah, for now, have a look at her. She's so cute. I absolutely love white body dolls, as you can tell. Um, if you don't know or can't tell, most of the dolls in my collection are actually white body. I've gotten really super serious about collecting over the last year and a half. So um, if it's Molly, Samantha, or Kirsten, I'm pretty much not gonna buy it unless it's uh, a white body doll. Um, that's just kind of where I'm at in my collecting. And they're my absolute favorite. I really love dolls from 1986 and 1987. And this one's just a little bit too young, like I said. So um, this would be a great doll for somebody that's looking at getting into white body collecting or like trying to get their first white body doll because um, the early ones can be quite expensive and you can kind of luck out and maybe find a deal on eBay or Mercari, although not so much Mercari anymore. I always have a hard time getting good deals on there, but well, for several reasons, but um, eBay if you really watch and kind of keep an eye out, um, you can often find a really good deal on a white body doll, even if it's like a 1986 or 1987. Um, but if you have to buy those at market price, they are quite expensive. But if you're um, looking to kind of just get into the market, trying to get a white body doll, um, doing one from like 1988 to 1990, um, you can usually get one for sometimes as low as like 100 or $150. Um, you know, again, I'm filming this in January of 2023. So if you're watching this in in the future, um, the price might be different, but um, yeah, this would be a great entry doll if you were interested in getting your first white body doll.
anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I, as always, appreciate it. And I would really, really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Um, I read every comment that comes in unless you like say something so horribly nasty that it gets filtered out by like the content filter. But um, anything that makes it past the spam filter, um, I read and I appreciate every single one. And I try to respond to everybody, but you know, sometimes I just get so busy and I can't respond um, right away. But yeah, usually right once the the video goes up if you leave a comment within like the first hour I usually respond to it so yeah I'd really love to hear in the comments what you thought of the doll I got today and again don't forget to hit the like button too that also helps me out because like I said I'm a growing channel and I'm having so much fun doing this and every little bit of encouragement I get uh, keeps me that much more motivated to make more videos and I just wanted to say thanks again for everybody that's been watching my videos over the last few weeks or I guess months now I've been doing this for months now and it's been really fun meeting some of you and hearing your stories um, I'm really touched by so many of them and uh, I just can't thank you enough for sharing that with me that's all for today's video, but I have more videos, so if you want to keep hanging out, why don't you watch this video? And until next time, please take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.